Express battery has arrived from China, made in China, and uh, looks like it came by air, Aztec Worldwide Airlines, destination LAX. So uh, I bought this battery, it's 14 amp hours, to uh, essentially replace the stock electric battery, which is only 10.4. And in the 2.0, which I'm hoping to get in a few weeks, it's only 9.6. So I'm not, I don't know why electric is going down in battery size. That kind of ticks me off a bit. Um, but uh, hopefully this battery uh, gives me better range. Now, I talked to Sonny Whitehurst, who's really into uh, batteries. He thinks the 14 amp hour, which he has as well, is not quite 14 amp hour. It's like 12 something. Um, but uh, uh, you know, even 12 is better than you know 9.6. So um, you know, hoping this uh, kind of does the trick here. So all right, here's the little piece we don't need. Um, oh, it comes with a charger. Okay, I didn't realize it would. Which is different from the electric one. But let's see it. So, all right. And here's the battery. Here are the keys. It looks just like the electric. Here's your handle. Voltage 48 volts, 14.5 amp hours. Wow. So they can make these bigger too. Um, you know, I wonder if electric will eventually offer a bigger size battery. I would pay for that. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people would as well. But yeah, you can see the 48 volts. This is 14.5. I thought I was just getting 14, but I'll take 14.5. That's it. E bike, lithium ion battery, made in China. Um, doesn't say anything about uh, if, it was, if it's Samsung or not, but. Here we go. So yeah, uh, I'm going to charge it up and uh, we're going to do a range test. Um, I'm only at the 1.0 for now, so we're going to range test against the 10.4 and uh, video coming soon. So good times. All right, just did a five mile run, 1.0, 10.4 amp. We're going to shut the bike off in five minutes, turn it on, and then record the uh, voltage. All right, turn the, uh, it's been five minutes, we're turning the uh, bike back on. Let's check the voltage. 52.6, we'll call it. We'll round down. 52.6. So five miles down, 52.6. Basically, took off two volts. Mostly PAS2, um, kind of uh, real work condition, so a few small hills here and there, some downhill, some uphill, some flat, so kind of the way I ride, where I ride. So 52.6, 5 miles on the 10.4 uh, original battery. So next up we'll do the new battery, same route, 5 miles, and compare the two voltages from there. All right, uh, new battery's charged up, 54.6, just like the uh, original one. So uh, let's go do the five miles and uh, see where we stand after that.
All right, just hit five miles on the new battery, 14 amp hour. I'm gonna shut it off five minutes and then check it. All right, guys, so this was a real world range test, basically. Uh, I just, I did go on a flat surface. I went on a five mile ride with some small hills. Uh, it was kind of straight, but uh, there were probably three or four downhills. I just cruised at you know, 20, 24 miles an hour. Uh, there some uphills where I threw it into the pedal assist three just to get up the hill. It was mostly PS2 and me pedaling. Uh, so real work conditions here. So I'm gonna turn it on and uh, we'll see what the moment of truth is here. By the way, too, I'm going to do a full range test. So I started at 565 in this battery, now 570. And I'll tell you how many exactly how many miles I can get out of that one charge on this uh, once I complete that, uh, complete those rides. So let's turn the thing here. 53. Call it 53.1. So that's good. So if you remember, the other battery was 52.6. So I'm getting basically 0.5 volts more out of this battery than I was the uh, the original one. So uh, I would say it's about a 30% increase, roughly, maybe 25%. I don't know. You do the math. I'm not a mathematician. But uh, all right. So it works. So this definitely this battery definitely gives you more range according to this simple five mile test. So, be cool.